Would you be interested to accelerate time to value, provide a delightful collaborative experience for your customers? In this tutorial, we are going to be learning about Rocketlane. Rocketlane is a customer onboarding and project management platform designed for customers facing teams and it helps businesses to streamline their onboarding processes, collaborate with customers and manage projects efficiently. Rocketlane provides tools for customers' interactions such as task management, document sharing and communication channels, and all this is within a centralized platform. So in this tutorial, we are going to be going through the Rocketlane. Now, to use Rocketlane, you simply come to rocketlane.com and then you can try for free for 14 days so you will click try for free and then you will enter your email and then you'll enter your password then a confirmation link will be sent to your email and you'll click on that and then you'll start your free trial that lasts for 14 days so once you do that it will bring you to this page here we will have the notifications. So you notice we have two already here, all notifications. We have a project that was already published. And then we have another project that is awaiting here for Caro. Then I can click on tasks that I am assigned. In this case, there is none. If I have been mentioned and if there are any tasks that have been assigned to my team. And in this case, there are already two tasks that have been assigned. And we are going to be showing you how this is done. So next, if I click home, it now takes me to the default page of Rocketlane. So this one, you can either view all tasks up here, or you can view incomplete tasks, or you can view completed tasks. If I click on all tasks, you notice it gives me all these tasks here. Although these ones are just default, but we are going to be creating our own tasks. Next, I can click on the dashboard. And the dashboard gives you the option again now to view projects in more of a graphical way. In this case, inferred progress by project owner. We have a project for Rachel and then we have a project for Victorious, which is me here. So and then we have this one inferred project by template. We can have the template there and then you notice also we have here progress you can now see the progress of the project in this case on track and this one has none in this case we have a project that needs to be staffed and here we also have a project that is in progress so here is the project by status this is project by progress so down here you can see the status by face in this case we have colors that can give you an idea of what it is. Green indicates a project or a task that is in progress. Red indicates a task that is already overdue. And blue indicates a task that is to be done. If now I click on the next item here, projects, then I will be able to see the projects that I have. For instance, we have the photo editing project. And then if I look at its status, it is to be staffed. You remember what we have just seen? There was a project that needed to be staffed. Here it is. So we can also see the current face of the project. We can also be able to see the progress. And the faces here, again, you can either decide is it, uh, is it to be done, is it implementation process and the percentages. And then we have the due date here. So you can be able to tell whether you are running late on a project or maybe you are at par, you are on track, and you are able again to make a decision before it is too late. Again, you can have the inferred projects. Again, you can have the inferred progress. And in this case, you have a smart estimation of how well the project is progressing as per the plan. Next, we have the last five projects updates. So you get updates for the last five projects here. Next, you have the hours that have been logged in. So either you or the client is able to see how many hours that your team has logged in into this project. Like in this case, we have just created the project, but we have not assigned any. Therefore, the photo editing project has zero minutes tracked or zero 
hours tracked. And then you can see who the project has been assigned here, the project owner. The first project here, I assigned it to myself. And then the next item, you can see the price of the project. Like in this case, I didn't assign any value here and uh, I'll be showing you how to do that. Then we have the project fee. Then we have the overall rating. And let me explain that. The overall rating is given when the project is complete. But with Rocket Rain, you can give a rating per milestone. This is very helpful because you are able to assess the performance and how well you are doing the milestones instead of waiting for the overall milestone so that you get the final say. Then you also have the last project to be updated, plan duration, actual start date up to the end. So you are able to see all that. You can see, of course, your customers' names. You have Caro, we have Modat, and we have Acme. In this case, you can also see who your team members are for this project. Next, you can also see all the tasks that you have. In this case, we just click on tasks and then you can select here either everything or tasks that have been assigned to you. So you are able to select task depending on these tags. Then we have the resource management here. Then you click on resource management. And in this case, this is where now I had said you will be able to assign the right people with the right skills to the most important projects. You simply click on get started and you'll be able to do the assigning down here. Next, let's now try to do a sample of a project. To do that, you click on projects and then you come up here and then you can create new project. So you now give the name of your customer and the customer's name. In this case, let me say my customer is James Smith. That will be my customer's name. Then I can click on project team. Then I can add the team. So the customer name is James Smith. Then the project name, let me call it YouTube videos, YouTube videos. Then I can choose the project status down here. You notice we can have canceled, blocked, on hold, proposed, in planning to be staffed or in progress. So let me put it as a proposed project. I click on that. Then I can choose the project template down here. Then I can just choose simple onboarding or I can create a new template here or I can add a new one. Then I can select the start date. Let me select 15th and I am not able to select the due date until now when I change the status here. Down here, we now have the visibility, team visibility. If I check on everyone, it means everyone from my team will be able to view my project and they can join the project by themselves. And the part I had told you how you can invite members, you simply select on this one, invite team members. So in that case, you only, only invited team members from your team will have access to your project. So that is a basic information. If now I want to assign, I simply click here on project team and then I can choose who to assign. If I click down here where we have this checkbox, I'll be able to assign all unassigned tasks to the project owner. So, but if I don't want to do that, I can simply come up here and then I click on that drop down arrow then I can assign that to one person. In this case, I'll assign that to myself, Victoria's Destiny, I click on that. If I click on this, then it means I'll have assigned myself all that. I can also invite other team members to this. In this case, I just select them here so that I'll be the project owner. Then I can assign this to these two, any one of them. In this case, I won't assign. Then if I go to the customer team, it means that I can now invite people from the customer's side. My customer is James Smith. So I can add James Smith here 
or people from his side who will also be able to view my project, view the progress of this project, make comments, give reviews and all that. So to do that, I'll simply click there and then I'll type their email there. So in this case, I will not add their emails. Then finally, I can check on the project fields. So I can add the fields about uh, the amount that is to be paid and all that. In this case, if I click down here, the ARR, I can choose maybe two or three. Then I can say the project fee will be 600 USD. And then if I'm satisfied with all the details that I inserted at basic project, customer team and project field, I now click on create project and I'll be able to create my YouTube videos project. So it's now taking us through the process of creating. So, and there we have it. So we have a YouTube videos project. We have the project plan. We have the kickoffs. We have solution and planning. We have the progress about implementation and all that as we had explained in the beginning. Now, I can also see now the overview of my project. I simply click on overview. And so I'm able now to see the project that I created. So the status, it is it has been proposed. Uh, then the project date, it's at 0% completion. And uh, there's no overdue task, no at-risk task, no completed task, and no blocked task. So down here, I can now view my project as per the phases, all phases. We have the kickoff and readiness, solution and planning. We have implementation, and then we have the last one for the go live and value the and value delivery. In this case now, these are par parameters that you can view all of them. So if I possibly think otherwise after I have assigned this project to myself or to someone else, I can still invite more people to my YouTube videos project by simply coming up here and clicking on invite. Then I'll type the email of the person that I want to invite. And then down here, I'll select team members part of the project. Then in this case, uh, myself, or I can choose James Smith. Those are people who are already in this project, or I can manage the team here by adding others. So if I type the email there, then I'll click on invite. So finally, after the overview and project plan, we can also see the spaces. And in this case, we are able to chat on this side where you can now send private messages with your project team. You simply type the message here. So you just say maybe, hi, James. I hope you are well. And then your project is going on well. And then you just click on send. And you can also attach files. Maybe you have a screenshot that you would want clarification about. You can send that also. Next, you can also do the normal way for the chat, which is actually a general chat. And this one to be general and possibly visible to the team members then on the list if you click on list you can now see all your projects here and then i can also view my project updates in this case i have not made any updates but i can keep on updating my customer i just click on project updates and in this case i can update my customer on the current status of the project i simply click on new update then Maybe I want to tell them it's about um, uploading. I click, type that and then I can add the emails to. In this case, I'm sending it to all the project members. In this case, it will automatically send to all the people that I have added, but I can also add other collaborators. And then down here, I'll now type, I am currently uploading all your videos and they'll be ready by the end of the day. I'll try, type all that there if I'm done. I come down here and click on send. Finally, I'm able to view all the files that we have exchanged on this project by clicking on all files, such that if I had any attachment, then I would see it here. Then if I had a private file, general or private file, I would see it here. But you notice now ours are at zero because we have not added any files. With that, I hope this whets your appetite on how to use the Rocket Lane, because you are able to collaborate with your clients so fast and so easily, 
you are able to access everything about your project with Rocket Lane. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.